Hey guys. So, as you can see, I had another seizure. I was out with Debbie, and just Debbie. I decided to go for a nice walk on on the waterfront trail. And as you can see, I had, I don't know, maybe you can, eh? I had a bad seizure. Um, I'm gonna insert the picture of the gash on my head right here. So as you can see, it's pretty bad. I have an injury, a slight injury on my knee. There's only a small cut, but uh, I may need stitches on my head. Um, I've got a pad on my head with some tape. Um, so essentially I'm using the pad for what it was initially invented for, injuries. Um, except I'm not in a war and yeah, but whatever. Um, I had a really big fight with my mom and uh, that's why I went out with Debbie and decided to take a long walk because I was <sighs> feeling an array of emotions. I was angry. I was sad. And I was depressed in a way that I was having really bad thoughts. And... I think one of the mistakes was not taking my medication before going out. I should have taken medication before going out. And that I thought it was okay because there wasn't, you know, a lot of uh, time between the, the schedule where I should take my medication and the time that I would have gotten back home. So, yeah, um, I should have taken the medication before leaving the house, and that was my mistake. Um, also, being stressed out like that, I actually had an aura. I knew I wasn't feeling well, so I sat down. The problem, the real problem was, uh, the location I decided to sit down, which was really stupid, I should have sat down on a bench, and, um, but because I wanted to call my sister, and I knew I was gonna cry, and while talking about the fight with my mom, I didn't want people in public to see me and then ask me what's wrong, because it's not like they could help with anything, um, but... Essentially, um, I was on the phone with my sister, sitting down on a rock by the trail. Um, it was a little, like, mini trail off of the trail. Um, and I was sitting on a rock, but there were more rocks. That is why I have such a huge gash on my head. There were more ga um, rocks over there that I fell on that... Like I said, that's why I have the gash on my head. Debbie was there, and he was, um, he stuck by me, and he was, he was, he was trying to, like, lick me and, uh, on my head, and, um, he, he was trying to help me, and <sighs> there were a bunch of people in that area that I knew saw me, and they even passed by me. And, uh, nobody decided to even ask me if I was okay. Um, young people. Probably younger than me, teenagers, maybe. Um, 
they, they look younger than me. Like, they look younger than, than 24. Um, so I, I just feel kind of sad about that and wish it was a better situation, but, um, I have learned my lesson and I just, I just, I feel sad about it just because of the thoughts the horrible thoughts I was thinking. That's what you get with depression. Especially because it's worse because of the Kepra side effects of mood swings. The Kepra rage. So the Kepra rage and the mood swings mixed together is, is just a recipe for disaster. So, all I can really do is just try to take care of myself and make sure that I don't have to deal with that situation again. It was pretty bad. I'm probably going to have a nice... Minor bald spots um, once I get stitches, because I probably will have to go and get stitches. Um, yeah, uh, I feel like crap. My, my head hurts from the headache that I have, but it doesn't hurt so much. My mom was worried that the that my skull might be broken, but. Pretty sure it would have hurt a lot more if if it was actually if the bone was actually broken. But it just feels like it's bruised, like the bone is bruised. It just feels like a bruise, and also an open wound um, because it's huge, as you can see from the picture. Um, yeah, that just. Don't make the same mistake I made. Don't. Don't go out if you decide to go for a long walk. Don't go out before taking your medication. If it's if it's even three hours, just to be safe, take take your medication before going out, um, or at least taking your medication with you so you can so you can take it. Close to the close to the scheduled time, even earlier would be great. <sighs> I still feel pretty crappy, and I feel horrible for for the things I said to my mom. I just. And the. Uh, the, the worst thing is that she understands why I said it. And that's why I feel even worse. Because... Because, like, when I'm in that state, I feel like I can't control it. And I just... I just feel so horrible saying those things. And I immediately regretted it after saying it. I disinfected it. I washed it with soap first and then disinfected it with high hydrogen peroxide and then put polyspores on it. Um, but yeah, it sucks. I just hate feeling like this. I just wish I didn't have to deal with this. But at the same time, I've learned a lot because of it. Like, my seizures in general. I've learned a lot. I wish I didn't have seizures, but at the same time, I learned so much. And if I didn't have seizures, I. 
my best friend, she wouldn't be my best friend. Because, you know, that's the way I met her. I met her from Athletic Toronto, from, from the young adults group. And. I'm actually grateful for that. I learned a lot about epilepsy. I didn't even know what epilepsy was. My mom didn't even know what epilepsy was until until I had a seizure. So it's pretty crazy. Just don't make the same mistake I did.